out this is Deepwork from the UK with a tutorial on the inward lip roll and the dagger lip roll. <coughs> For the uh, dagger lip roll, um, this sound is done by sucking your um, one side of your lip in and trying to open your mouth at the same time. So there's three main ways to practice this sound. The way that I learned was to um, twist the noise in and out, so get yourself into lip roll position where your one side of your lip is super tight in one corner, like so, and the other side is really loose. So you end up in lip roll position and you're pushing the sound in and out, like. Keep doing this for as long as you can and try and speed it up to try and get your lips loose in the side that you need them to be, so. Keep trying that for so long, and once you get some speed, try and open your mouth while you're doing it, so. Um, oh, another style to learn it is, uh, another way to teach it is to go in the middle of your mouth, and slowly try to move it over to one side. While you're doing this, try and learn to open your mouth just on one side and keep this side tight. So, the more you practice this, and the less you open your mouth, the more likely you are to get the sound. So, okay, the third way to teach it is to get your mouth in lip roll position again and practice just sucking the sound in, so... And while you're doing this sound, you try to pull your jaw and your mouth down to one side as well, so... Um, if you end up pulling in your bottom lip with it, that's how you'll get the high-pitched sound, the zipper sort of sound, so... If your bottom lip gets pulled in, then you won't get a lip roll, you get a zipper. So try and keep your lips as still as you can on the side you're doing the sound. So nice and tight one side, almost almost normal the other side, just really loose. So if that bottom lip goes in, then you get um that's the standard inward lip roll. For the vocalised inward lip roll, you do the same kind of thing. Try to learn that first, the normal lip roll and the vocalise works like you get to the end of your standard lip roll keep your mouth in the same position and use your lungs to pull the air straight in so there's not really a specific way to teach that sound it's more learn it in with lip roll and it almost comes with it so you get to the end of your normal lip roll and just pull straight in as hard as you can to your lungs so um, lip roll is not a quick sound to learn. It's not a sound that you'll get in a matter of days. It, it takes weeks to months for most people to learn. It's quite a complicated sound. Um, I'll do my best to get a close up and show you the position of my lip so that you can kind of study where you need to be. Hopefully, it will help you. Normal lip roll. First way to learn. Second way to learn. And the third way to learn, which I forgot again. Um. And don't let that bottom lip be pulled in. And here's a close up of the inward lip roll. Uh, 
um, keep practicing this sound. It's not it's not easy sound to get. It would take it would take quite a long time. Like it's not a day's worth of practice. It's it took me about three months to get this sound and another four or five months on top to perfect it. So don't tell yourself that you can't do it. Keep trying. Constantly try. Practice every single day and you will get it. I promise you. It's a sound that people tell themselves they can't get because it's so hard to learn. But if you tell yourself you can't, then you never will. Keep practicing, be patient, and you will get it. Hope this helps. Cheers. <laughs>